bring it up now, Carter, but you're temporarily detached. You gave him a big dose of good old American lead. Then that Jap sneaked up and got you from behind. Could happen to anyone. This time, it happened to you. Now you're on your way to set up housekeeping in the long green drink. A minute to go. You're checking off fast. Get back in that sling. Way back. Release your leg straps and chest strap. But keep your arms in close. You want to get out of that chute the minute your feet touch water, but not before. So you use your arms as a chest strap until the last minute. Ready now? Body straight? Not yet, not yet. Don't say we didn't tell you. Sure, the wind's knocked out of you, but your May West brought you up fast. And it's lucky for you your wingman's keeping those zeros busy up there. You're still an easy target for any Jap who has the time to come and slug you. But now it's safe to break out your living quarters. Seems like just another crazy rehearsal for something that couldn't happen to you. But your hands work fast. Pull the toggle, take out the pin, turn to the left. And there's your little home, Dunkaree, all ready to move into. But the furniture comes first. Now what are you trying to do, climb a wall? Get your back to the wind, Carter, and make like you're swimming. That's better. Now, where's your parachute? A little late to think of that. Remember, you let go too soon. Maybe you can still save it. No dice. It's gone. Well, here you are in a tub full of water. But your heart's still up in the cloud, and you can't get it. Slowly, you do get it. Brother, this is something new. Ensign James Carter, Potter type fighter pilot. Yeah. Any time I let a Jap get on my tail again. Well, might as well get comfortable, Ensign Castaway. You've had your bath. Better empty the tub. There's nothing like working around the house to give a man time to think. Everything you've got in the world is in that boat with you. Everything was put there to help you get back alive. And you can't afford to lose so much as a button. Not a bad little layout, this boat packed. Patching set, six ounces of water, sea marker, sailcloth, and a pair of webbed feet. But how do I hang on to them? I got it. Rig them like mittens. That's the idea. You won't lose those paddles, your boat, or anything, as long as you're lashed and stay lashed together. That includes the things from your backpack that you might need often. Okay, I'll be a Christmas tree. Nice going. You got your knives handy and secured. Fishing kit lashed to your boat where you can get at it. Gun put away to keep dry in your backpack. Compass around your neck. 
Looks like you're set and ready to go. Yeah, this is a mission I didn't expect. Ensign Carter reporting for briefing, sir. Briefing? Hey, they're gonna miss me tomorrow. But if Davis gets back, and he will, the old buzzard, he'll tell them where I dunked. They're sure to find me if I head for the nearest land. And that's just what I'm gonna do. Let's see. We scrambled about here. Wango Island. I always wanted to go there. Interesting people I hear. Hmm. Bearing 350. From the looks of the water, the wind's about four knots and it's behind me. Bearing 350. Well, Madeline, let's start paddling. shifted. I'm not getting any place. Better lay off. You're only one guy, remember. And break out the sea anchor. Get some sleep. Little man, you've had a busy day. She's no feather bed, this flat little tub of yours. But she's seaworthy, all 12 square feet of her. So long as you don't get reckless and throw your weight around. Well, well. Looks like you've gone in for the scorched face policy. Boy, oh boy. I better take a look at myself. Break out the signaling mirror, Carter, and learn the worst. Wise guy, you didn't think this sun meant business. What do you think that ointment's for, greasing axles? You should have thought of this yesterday. But you had a pretty good tan. You figured you couldn't burn. So you learned the hard way. Nobody can beat the combination of sun and water. That ointment's a protection, not a cure. You've got to get it on in time. Twelve ounces, two cans makes 24, and a six-ounce can on the boat pack, that's 30 ounces altogether. And no sign of rain. So what can I do for a sandpaper throat? Now, oh, hell, Carter, take a drink.
Uh, uh, uh. Lay off those rations. All hands to fishing stations. If I don't catch any now, I'll live off my own fat till I do. Now, let's see what gives here in the beta group. You'll make out all right, Carter. You're thirsty, you're hungry, sure. Who wouldn't be? But there's food and drink in the ocean. Try that first and keep your rations as a last resort. be done. Now, little minnow, go catch daddy something good. But don't start flirting with whales. At first, you don't think what might happen if you do tangle with a big fish. Sharp teeth, ragged fins, even a quick pull on the line can do lots of damage to bare hands. you're clicking. You stop long enough to put on your gloves. And then you wait. Maybe they're not biting today. Easy on that line. Thanks, Minnow. I don't know what this is, but it's mine, and I love it. White meat coming up. Some ketchup might help, but here goes. The juice is good, though, and it'll help save your supply of water. Just chew that fish dry. How's that? Not so bad. What you don't use, you put away for bait to catch the next meal. Eh, you feel pretty good. Except for those burned shins. You still don't believe exposure can kill a man, do you? But it can. You gotta keep that sun off. All the time. And that's what your poncho's for. Sure, you just weren't thinking before. Next morning, before you know it, that sun catches you again with your poncho down. Your skin is dry and tight and irritated with salt. Your feet are swelling. You'd like to peel off all your clothes, but you know better now. Just taking off my shoes won't hurt, though.
Now, where the hell am I? Today's Thursday. I had a fair wind yesterday. Must be about here. Sure is slow going. But I'll get there if I bust a gut doing it. What I wouldn't give to see something besides water. Plain. A ship. A piece of dry land. Anything. Even a Wango woman. Keep going, hour after hour, fighting the current, trying to hold a true course. It's not easy. Your heart's pounding right out of your chest. There's no spit left in your mouth. One swig will finish this can. So a guy can live 10 days, two weeks without water? Mister, it doesn't feel that way to me. Maybe this is for me. Come on, break out the C marker. Hold it. Dumb bastard. No water and only one food left. Look, fella. Every guy's got to sweat it out once in a while. But you still got your packs. They were lashed securely. You'll feel better tomorrow. Crazy, or is that land? Must be one of those dry islands on the map. But I'll buy it. You'd buy anything at this point. But a dry island's not so bad. You'll be able to rest up before shoving off for Wango and people. 
Meanwhile, maybe it's the right time to break out your rations and give yourself a party. You've been missing a few meals lately. Solid milks, fruit drops, vitamin tablets, chewing gum. What, no bicarb? Let them dissolve. Let them dissolve and they'll last longer. You're heading for a dry island, not a ship service. That wasn't exactly a steak dinner, but for concentrated nourishment, those tablets just won't quit. Well, it looks like the last lap. You ought to land tomorrow, if everything goes well. But those last few miles are the toughest. You run into sharks. They're only after the fish that collect under your boat. Not this baby. He's got an I want Carter look. See, didn't I tell you? You make a little distance and then you lose it when the wind and current change against you. But you keep going somehow. One day, two days, I've got no way to tell where I am anymore. That island might be 300 miles away or only 300 yards right now. Guess we'll just have to wait for the fog to lift, Madeline, old girl. At last you get the break you've waited for. Enough wind behind you to help you pass those offshore currents. The dry island you're landing on all right, but you don't care so long as it's solid underfoot. You'll only be stopping long enough to get your strength back anyway. Your real date is on Wango Island. So I made it. But no people, no nothing. I gotta find water. Say, this must be pigweed. The 
a South Sea salad. It helps. But I still need water. Wonder if a well might work. One hundred yards from shore, in a slight depression, then dig, says the Baedeker. Three to six feet down, I ought to be striking something soon. Here it is, then fill in fast. 